Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. This is the second part to my reasons to be and not to be upset about the Last of Us 2 leaks video. I encourage you to watch the first part before watching this one. There are potential spoilers within both videos, so keep that in mind. Alright, before we go, I just want to check out what this fucking re- has to say. Can someone tell me what this is? What the hell? Okay, so normally- Alright, so, right off the bat, this fucking moron, this, what is it, sensitive society fucker, who has way more subscribers than he deserves, called that person it. Why do you think is he calling it it because she's potentially trans? Because she's not attractive? We already went over this. Why would this motherfucker with the smallest cock in the world say that? I don't really talk about gaming. I do play a lot of games. I don't cover gaming news, but this, The Last of Us- And you should stop covering gaming news. <laughs> He's like, I don't cover gaming news. I don't do a lot of this type of video. Good! Stop doing it! Because already, you sound fucking brain dead. This 2 leak is, is too good to pass and to share my opinion. Get I'm going to talk way. about spoilers starting now, so if you want to click off- Oh no, still he's going to talk about spoilers. Oh, it's going to be stupid undead gamer, but you got to remember, this guy talking, who's fucking mentally inept, matches everyone else complaining about the game in this manner. Anyone who's making a video that's anti-trans or anti-LGBT or pro-white supremacist, they're all just as fucking stupid and sexually deficient as this guy. But we're gonna watch this video, so if anyone doesn't want to hear the leaks, leave now. I think he's just gonna complain about trans characters. But before we do that, we should leave a comment. Just leaving a comment because I'm watching your poorly thought out video on Twitch. You're mentally Inept on levels unfathomable. If it were raining soup outside, you'd be out there with a fork. So we got that out of the way. All right, let's see what this idiot has to say. I don't care about this game because this game is horrible. And this is confirmed. This is All right. He just said this game is horrible and it's confirmed. He doesn't know it's horrible. It hasn't been confirmed because it hasn't been released. He's basing this all off leaks, which... Some of them may or may not be true, we don't know, oh, and if they are true, then the game still might be good. Isn't allegedly, no, this year is confirmed. This is going to be in the final game. I played the first Last of Us just recently, I just got a PlayStation. I thought it was decent, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 maybe. I don't, I don't care what you thought about The Last of Us, you fuckstick. I thought it was okay, you know, I'm edgy, thinking one of the best games ever made was like, you know, a 7. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but he's like downplaying it. Yeah, you know, The Last of Us was okay, but this one's a huge fucking bomb. I think it's the 2000's best game. There's better games than The Last of Us, but anyways, that's besides the point. That's subjective, and your opinion doesn't really matter. Because your brain is insanely small. The Last of Us 2 feels like it was created by feminists and those cringy gay people. You know he just said The Last of Us 2 <laughs> seemed like it was made by feminists and those cringy gay people. <laughs> How are gay people cringy? Sensitive society using leet? Like a fucking 15 year old. Do you even know what feminism is? You do realize that real feminists actually support a lot of the same shit that men do. Like you know how the majority of men when they get divorced from their wives and the kids are taken and they give custody of the kids to the wife. Or I should say the mother at this point. But not the father. Because they think that women are inherently better caregivers. Which is not true. That's bullshit. Feminists hate that. And that's something men don't like either. Some of the shit they like coincides with yours, you fucking moron. Some feminists that are awful, like second wave feminists, a lot of them are like the TERFs. But they're awful because they're filled with hate. Not because whatever stupid shit this guy believes, what, he thinks they all hate men or something like that? No, he doesn't know what a fucking feminist is. He just thinks he knows what a feminist is because he like watches Sagan of Akkad or whatever fucking Nazi YouTuber he's jerking it to every night. Spoilers, if you still care about this train wreck, this fucking car accident of a game this- He keeps saying that the game is fucking terrible, but you'll notice he hasn't said one thing about the game yet. He said, it seemed like this game was made by feminists and those 
cringy gays, whatever the fuck that means. And it's terrible and awful and it's been confirmed that it's terrible and awful and all that shit, but it hasn't been confirmed and he hasn't said why the game is cringy and awful yet. So he's priming his audience to already think that the game's fucking super social justice warrior, pro-LGBT, woke shit. If you have to prime them this fucking hard, you have no faith in your material, you little bitch. This. What the fuck is this? She came out of nowhere. She wasn't on the first game. She's a new character, and things get worse. Yeah. Hey, fucking idiot. You ever see a movie? You ever see a sequel to a movie, and then they add characters in it that weren't there before? You ever go to see X-Men, and you know, Wolverine's there, and Cyclops, and Beast, and shit, but then you go see X-Men 2, and then Nightcrawler's there, and you're like, Who the fuck's this asshole? Who's this asshole? This guy wasn't in the first movie. What the fuck? What the fuck? There's new characters and shit? My, my small, tiny brain can't handle this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's saying you play as a character no one's ever heard of before and is new to the game, not someone from the first game. How is that a valid complaint? Sometimes in sequels, you get to play as new characters or at least meet new characters with a new story. I don't I don't see what the fucking problem is so far. He hasn't said one thing yet. Who is this fucking moron? What else has he produced? I'll have to look later. This is Naughty Dog trying to appeal to everyone. To the gay community, to the transgender community, to everyone. The most important thing that he just said is Naughty Dog is trying to appeal to everyone. You know, trying to appease the largest majority of people they possibly can. What's wrong with that, you fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty Dog is trying to make everyone happy. <laughs> and that's his contention. <laughs> Naughty Dog's including all these different people who are potential customers who will buy the game. <laughs> How stupid of them. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And you gotta realize, morons like this are in the minority. You know, the game's still gonna sell like hotcakes. And you know what? I guarantee this fuck nugget right here, he's gonna buy it too. And let me make this clear. I don't care. If you build a solid character that's gay, awesome. That's Okay, you think building a solid character that's gay is awesome? Wonderful. Then why did you call them cringy? You said made by cringy gays. Are you saying that all gays are cringy? Or are you saying some gays are cringy? You didn't have to add that, it just makes you seem like a huge homophobe, and I'm guessing you really, really are. He just said that he's okay with gay characters being in video games if they have a fleshed out background and are important to the story. But how would he know that this person doesn't have a fleshed out background? Did he even play the first game? He said he did, but I highly doubt it, because... The first game fleshes out every fucking character you meet. Even the guy and his little boy who end up dying are fleshed out to an extent. So what makes him think they're not going to flesh out this character? He does realize that Naughty Dog specializes in storytelling, right? Does, does he not know that? This is the first time he's ever played a game from Naughty Dog? <laughs> oh my god. Right now he's like, I don't mind gay characters in video games. But then he's gonna revert back to, I actually do mind if gay people on video games. He's just trying to get this out of the way for plausible deniability. Because he doesn't know if the character in the game is going to be fleshed out or not. Get fucked, pal. Epic, but if you force something and you shove it down their fucking throats, I don't care if it's transgender, black, Mexican, whatever, I don't care. It has to feel natural. You don't know if it's gonna feel natural, you moron. You don't fucking know. You don't even know if the character's trans. All signs point to that the character isn't trans, and logic would also point to that. Even if they were trans, it wouldn't matter. I said this earlier. If they were trans, you can't expect them to look really good. I mean, how are they gonna get their hormones shipped to them through the fucking mail during the apocalypse? <laughs> It's like, oh shit, you know, I gotta take my Spiro today and chomp down on some estrogen pills. Better go to the store and grab those. I'll just ignore the fucking spore zombies on my way there. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And this feels forced as fuck. I just hate when shit gets forced. We need equality. Let's not hire these talented white people because we need diversity, so let's... There are a lot of white people on the development team of Naughty Dog. We can even probably confirm this. The Naughty Dog team. Ugh. Oh. If only they hired white people! Am I right?
<laughs> a sensitive society. If only they hire white people. I oh, can't find any white people in this fucking photo. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> you stupid moron. These people don't do research because they're brain dead. They're reactionary fuckheads. We clearly see a lot of white people there and you know what they did, asshole? They still added LGBT characters or at least the L characters. <laughs> so <laughs> this guy is fucking stupid. You know, not every white person is as fucking racist and homophobic as you. I'm just saying. Just just fucking telling you. Let's hire these black people, these Mexicans, these Asians who aren't as qualified, but we need equality. In How do you know they're not as qualified? You think Naughty Dog, one of the biggest developers in video game history, doesn't hire quality people? You think they walk in for an interview and it's like, well... This white guy, he's got great credentials and experience. This black guy that's never developed a game, we gotta hire him because, you know, he's black. No, you fucking moron! That's not how this works! <laughs> oh god, I hate this guy. I don't even know who this is. In our fucking team. Like, that shit bothers me. If you're good at the job, you get it. I don't care if you're transgender, straight, or whatever, you get it. But that's- Yeah, yeah, that's true. If you're good at the job, it shouldn't matter if you're gay or transgender. You should get the job. What's your fucking contention? He's contradicting himself constantly. He's like, I don't know why they didn't hire these talented white people, but I don't mind if they hire, you know, trans people and LGBT people if they're talented. This guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Incoherent rambling bullshit. That's besides the point. First half you play as Ellie, the second part you play as the new transgender, whatever the fuck this. You don't know if they're trans, you fucking idiot. This is. That's great. We obviously didn't want to play as Joel. No, the best character for The Last of Us. The f hey, buddy, just because Joel was in the first game doesn't mean you get to play as him in the second one. Would you be making this argument if you played as Joel the first half and then the new character the second half, but you never played as Ellie? Would you be complaining? No, you wouldn't have made this video. You would have been like, oh, I can play as a white dude. I'm all set. I'm good. You know, I'm going to have to play as that fucking tranny at the end. But, you know, whatever. He's not even hiding his homophobia and white supremacist tendencies well. First one? No, we obviously don't want to play as him. We want to play as this new fucking character that no one gives a shit about. The you don't know if people give a shit about the new character until the game comes out, and then people will determine whether they like the character or not. You can't hate on a character with good reason until you play the fucking game. You can hate on them for stupid reasons, like rumors, like leaks that aren't confirmed. So you won't know if people like the character or not. You might not like them. You already have a predisposition not to like them. But other people might. I probably will like the character, you know? She looks like a gritty fucking badass. She doesn't have to look pretty in the post-apocalyptic world. She just has to be intelligent, charismatic, kick-ass, personable. That's all she needs to be. She doesn't have to have big fucking titties, big fucking milkers like me. She doesn't need to have those. The game has you fighting Ellie from the perspective of Amy. The first point kind of reminds me of what happened to Halo 5. You play as Locke for like 80% of the game or something like that, Master Chief for 30. No one gives a fuck about Locke. I don't hear him complaining about playing as different characters in ODST. By the way, Locke... Locke is a black guy, so of course he doesn't like Locke. <laughs> the reason I didn't like Locke is because he just wasn't built up. His character was kind of cardboard boring. It's been a while since I played Halo 5, but I don't remember liking Master Chief in Halo 5 either. He was also pretty bland. He was underutilized. Let's back up a little bit. Let's point out the irony that this is Rainbow and he's ranting against LGBT people. Just let that soak in. Who gives a fuck about Locke? No one cares. And no one cares about Abby. She's new. Like, what the fuck are they thinking? No one cares about Abby. She's new. What the fuck? We've been over this. Some characters are new. You don't even know if people will like her yet. It's like when they were making DC Comics and they introduced The Flash. Oh, The Flash isn't Superman. No one's gonna like The Flash. <laughs> I sound like a Redditor or a 4chan user right here, but how can you butcher the story so bad? Ellie is the bad guy now. What a twist. Sure, you shook everyone. You surprised everyone, but it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Here comes a big spoiler. Joe dies at the hands of Abby. Joe gets killed by this new character, this character that no one... Are you that bitter that the white dude is gonna get killed by someone who may or may not be trans? 
<laughs> who's most likely not trans. And you know what? It doesn't matter if they're trans. He's probably upset that his cis white straight hero could get killed by a woman. And this isn't even confirmed. And you gotta remember one thing, people. Joel isn't really a good guy. He pretty much murdered a ton of innocent people at the end of The Last of Us and lied to Ellie about it. She could have saved the world with her blood, but Joel stopped it because he was selfish and killed a bunch of people, people with families, people with medical expertise, which is desperately needed in the post-apocalypse. So Joel is not that good of a guy. And if he gets killed, he's probably getting killed by the person for revenge reasons. But that would just make her kill justified. You know, they were just trying to save the fucking world and it was within their grasp and that greedy fuck stole it away. So don't fucking put Joel on a pedestal because he's a fucking white dude, you piece of shit. There's about this character who we've never heard of this fucking character not only did you screw ellie over now you screw joel over how is ellie screwed over how is ellie screwed over she's gonna be played as in the majority of the game if not the whole game we don't know so how is she screwed over because her girlfriend died i thought you didn't give a shit about gay people i thought you'd be thrilled that ellie's girlfriend dies He's probably, like, beating off to the trailer where her girlfriend dies. He's like, oh, this is where the lesbian dies. This is where the lesbian dies. Although he wouldn't be doing this. He'd be doing this because it's team. So he puts, like, the Q-tips around it like this. And he has a magnifying glass and he's just going, Aah! What is Naughty Dog smoking? What, what are they doing? <laughs> it blows my mind. How can the same people who made the Uncharted games make such a horrible game? You don't know if it's horrible. It's not out yet, you fucking idiots. The gameplay looks smooth. The graphics look smooth. Who knows if the story is going to be as good, but games aren't always about their story. And from what I've heard, it doesn't sound bad to me. Like I said, expect dark things you don't want to happen in the game because The Last of Us is a depressing game. Don't expect two to be sunshine and motherfucking rainbows. Not a damn pre-order. I'm not buying this shit. Staying away from it. I'm going to watch the cutscenes when they come out. I'm not going to buy this game. Don't. I like how he said I'm not going to buy the game and play it. He's just going to watch the cutscenes. So he's going to base everything off the story so he can make another video complaining about the LGBT characters and the white hate or whatever stupid bullshit. He's like, I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to bitch about it on YouTube and hope my views go up because the stupid people watch my show. <laughs> Only stupid people watch his channel. Don't buy this shit. Now they're going to call every single one of us, every one of us who doesn't like the new transgender character, transphobic. Yeah, you'll notice that he says the trans character if we don't like the trans character instead of if we don't like the new character. And that's because trans is on his mind because he doesn't like trans people. It's obvious. He made a whole video about it. So he's like, I can't believe they're putting fucking trans people in my games. God, I fucking hate trans people. And Ben doesn't even know why he doesn't like trans people. Maybe it's because he's secretly sexually aroused by trans porn and he's ashamed to admit it because it thinks it makes him less manly when it makes him manlier than anything to admit it. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm just going to guess he doesn't like things that are different from him. So it's obvious this guy's a transphobe and he's just trying to hide it. He's not doing it very well. Phobic because we didn't like the new character. That character could have been black, Hispanic, Asian, Chinese, whatever. It would still make no fucking sense. I what would make no sense about a new character? What about the leak makes no sense? Even if you don't like the leak, it makes sense. It's like he's trying to come up with reasons not to have the character exist at all, but there is no reason, so he's just like fucking fumbling his words. Like you can tell he didn't write a script. I didn't either. But I can point out stupidity when I hear it. I don't care what sexuality you are, what race you are. If no, you do, pal. You do fucking care what sexuality and race people are. You're a fucking alien. If the story doesn't make sense with you, it just doesn't make sense no matter what. So that's pretty much the bullet. You don't know if the story makes sense yet because you didn't play the game. You think Naughty Dog's going to make an incoherent plot? Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. The most relevant stuff. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm not going to buy this fucking horrible game, and I hope it flops. And don't be loyal to a company who only cares about money. I'm don't be loyal to a company that only cares about money. Oh, so so every fucking company. <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking A.
loyal to this company because of blank. Bitch, they don't care about you. They only care about making money. So That's every company, you fucking idiot. God, this guy's brain. I can't even imagine how fucking tiny it is. Like a speck of dust. So please put your fucking PC and PS4 and Xbox shit to the side. And let's come together to shit on this game because this game is horrible. Naughty Dog. Oh. I like how he says, let's come together to shit on this game, when he just attacked lesbians, gays, transgendered people, black people, Asian people, Spanish people, feminists, aka women. Even though men can be feminists, you know this guy doesn't fucking know that, he's stupid. Let's all come together after I attack fucking everyone. He's probably talking to his like fucking Nazi buddies or white supremacist friends. Anyway, subscribe if you're new, like the video if you liked it. No, no, don't promote your shit on my channel, you fucking piece of shit. We're done.